Yo, 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 what is going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Mo Spalling. We back on the No Money Spence. And I asked you guys in the last episode, I was gifted. Shout out once again to Daniel for the pass. And after reading your comments, I realized I'm no money spent. The only pass I'll be getting is League Pass, baby. We don't need the pass, ladies and gentlemen. We do not. I'm already level 28, bro. We already 28, bro. What do you think we need this pass for? For the little MT, the little this, the little that? I make MT. I am money most. We don't need nothing. Trust me on that. I don't care about the extra Hall of Fames. We don't care about that. We don't care about anything. I was just here to give you guys passes more or less. I still have one more to give out on YouTube. I was going to put it in the comments section or here. But I don't know if you guys are on Xbox, PlayStation, Switch, whatever you are on. So let me actually do a giveaway on stream. We'll stream a little later and then we'll do it like that. But I appreciate you guys so much. Like I said, the only pass we'll be buying is League Pass. And I need you guys with the NBA season starting up today to let me know who is your favorite team or what team are you super excited to watch? I think it's going to be a great season. There's so many fun teams to watch out there in these streets, whether it's Oklahoma City, Houston looks tough. There's the Spurs, Wemby, Chris Paul. That looks real exciting. There's just so many endless possibilities of teams that are going to be so enjoyable out here. Orlando, for example. Orlando is a top dog right now. Which brings us to Mr. Paolo. Can we bid on Apollo? Is it possible? I'm going to go ahead and drop 550 on this man right here you're probably wondering why 550 that's a lot of bread and he has two extra hall of fames one of them being on ball menace aka clamps and ladies and gentlemen the timer should be done we ready oh we got him we got him that's the full amount we got him for 553 i'm fine with it it's kind of a lot it feels like a lot it feels like oh my oh my why so serious type vibes but it's okay this card i heard is probably the craziest card out here in these streets this one's not even badged right and i'm gonna badge them right just remember that i don't know if i'm gonna put them all my hall of fames honestly i think i just go golds for the time being we should probably go the hall of fame route i wonder how many hall of fames i could get him to he's at eight I wonder how far we can go. Let me just add him everything. I want this card to be so, so special that he plays for me for months. Or if I end up selling, he makes me a bag and then some. I noticed there was two pick dodgers. I'm definitely going to give him one of them regardless. Like no matter what, he's getting one of them. And I just wanted to see what we added so far. So we can add every badge. He can have every badge in the game. I'm going to be making a badge video soon about the best badges i'll also make one about prices i know people have been asking me about that i will make it happen and for that reason i need you guys to smash that like button as well as subscribe please it helps us out a ton we need all that done so i can continue making great content for you guys now let's take a quick look he has eight hall of fames 28 gold two silvers and i think it's time to see how far we can go right i want to know how many hall of fames i could add to make him crazy crazy so i'm gonna do this quick i know i have this 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 that's three hall of fames plus one two i don't have that one so that's five plus set that's six and pick dodger that's seven right now seven plus eight is 15 that's a lot of hall of fames man 15 hall of fame badge paulo will start with pick dodger while i think it through if i want to go any further and honestly why not why not go all in man let's do it no reason to waste my gold badges silvers all that we go straight hall of fame it skips over the rest it doesn't waste them so that was number 10 right big 10 ah bro i don't see why not i don't know i'm thinking about it like if i'm gonna sell him I don't know what I'm going to do, bro. Just take the off-ball pest. I want you to be such a defensive weapon. I want people to not have any option to score on you. I might use you king of the court this week, and then we decide I need you for unlimited. I need you for life. I need you to be so special that no one can even come close to you in life. And that really just brings us to the point that this card is the most expensive card we bought. We got him to 12 i'm thinking i just don't know i don't know all right i'm gonna give him glove 
I think we just do it, bro. I think we do it. And we give him set. And then he just becomes the demon. Look at him. He looks kind of cute, bro. Like, no funny stuff, bro. I'm not even trying to be that guy. He looks like a dude that's going to be a demon. They call him Little Bron for a reason. He really that dude. We got to give him a shoe. I'll make him one. I'm surprised this dude just sold him with on-ball menace. He still made 550. That kind of just shows you how it is. I want to give him those Jordans. They look cool. But I want him to stand out too. I like colored shoes. I do like colored shoes. I think we go with that bright orange. It's almost Halloween. Spooky season, ladies and gentlemen. Spooky season. If JT shoes were a little prettier. Bro, I, I, we go orange, man. Spooky season. Honestly. I think I give him some more shooting. His defense is already locked. I could give him lock, but like I think shooting, bro. Like perimeter defense steal. His, his badges are gonna do all that. You feel me? His badges do that. So I think we just go with the clinic. You feel me? Big clinic mid three driving layup. Make him special. -er. I want this dude to look at people and say i'm him when we decide to sell this card we gonna get a bag i'm gonna need you guys to let me know if you think i should sell him off the bat because people on twitter are telling me to sell brody they telling me to sell brody i think i enjoy the show we go to showdown get some wins play park get some wins have some fun with paulo now we need to go ahead and shoot around what if i did all that and the guy can't even shoot what happens hey now green lights we'll go button first and we'll switch to the shot stick type vibe. So far, so good. I'm, it's going to take a while regardless. Whether I'm greening to start or not. Here we go. We're going to go button shooting now. Not button. I'm sorry. I switched to the analog stick right there. Beautiful analog stick. He looks like an analog demon. I haven't rhythmed yet. We're going to have to ease our way into that. But looking good. We shot four shots with the button to start. Four with the stick. And now we're rhythming. Oh, man. Very fast. All right. I'm really bad at rhythm. Okay. So I heard he's a good rhythm shooter. So I'm not really good at rhythm yet. So it's going to take me a little bit. But if he's comfortable. Oh, now nah, this card is kind of different, bro. If we can learn how to rhythm, bro. If we can learn. Oh, my. I'm excited. I'm going to show y'all some gameplay. I also need to catch you guys up on the no money spent. Everything we got as we leveled up. Nah, he really is a rhythm shooter, bro. This is tough. I might learn rhythm shooting. I thought I rhythm there. We might learn how to rhythm shoot just for him type vibes. You feel me? I might go for it and I suck. I literally suck. So sometimes I'm like beautifully on point. And then sometimes I just don't know what I'm doing. Like clearly right there. Like what are we doing ladies and gentlemen? So the first question is what have we been playing to get here? That is the question that needs to be answered and asked and all that. And domination number one. So I haven't finished era dom since last season. Don't ask me questions. But we started ABC dom. I've been playing a little bit around there. I play a couple games a day, especially with double XP. I've been using my double XP tokens. I'll explain where I've been getting them, how I use them, all that. But basically, I played two games for the first division, two games for the second. I was streaming, and for some reason, I was paying attention. And we only two-starred that one. But that's a whole different conversation. These all should be three stars. They're pretty simple. It's way easier than Era Dom. This is one of the easiest Doms we got. And it's really cool. I love it. I enjoy it. I think it's really, really fun in general. Here, I started doing the three stars, or three teams, I mean, I should say. And then we unlocked the last page just so I could take a look and see if this was all worth it. And look, pick three bronzes, pick three silvers, pick three golds. If you get lucky with some of these badges, you can make some serious dough. If some of these badges are good, and that's why I'm going to be telling you guys more or less what good badges are. So you guys can have better chances when you're looking at those stuff to know which ones cost a little bit more money. I just don't know if I'm doing it based off of bronzes silvers golds or i should just do every single badge and every single one like it's gonna be a lot of work if we talk about it that way but we'll figure it all out type vibes that's what i'm here for i'm here to help you guys so we got our 15k supposedly i didn't see it add up on my thing so that's just one thing i i hate that sometimes you don't see the stuff it didn't go up i'm just saying and then we're getting all fame badges soon i need those it might be for paulo and i'm ready for diamond kcp but we taking a break more or less, we have other things to do, other things to worry about. We'll take a look at salary cap. You already know, I already got halfway through. I'm at 2,500. I don't know if I go to 5,000. I was originally, but I found out these packs aren't real packs. They don't have badges in them. They don't have anything else. It's just the player. So based off that alone, I don't really want it if I'm just going to get players because my chances of getting an Ami player or a diamond player, a pink diamond are pretty low. 
So like, why am I playing for sapphires and emeralds without getting any badges? So maybe I get to it, who really knows? We'll talk about some of the challenges I've been doing because I haven't touched the breakout stuff that was just added. We completed the poetry in motion. We'll take a look at some of the things I pulled from there. I haven't uploaded that, but park is where we're at currently. I just switched to park and we're at 70 wins. We just hit that. I will say Paolo's been helping out. I'm gonna be uploading a gameplay video soon, like two gameplays actually in one video where I played the craziest park lineups you'll ever see. Both dudes teams cost over 2 million in the park and you guys are gonna have to witness what happened, how we held ourselves together, what if we won, if we lost, how we played, all that good fun stuff. And honestly, I'm going for the 500. I know it sounds crazy, but we're technically over 10% of the way there. So it's not as crazy as it sounds anymore. There's still 38 days left. And then we'll see if we enter the showdown realm. I played six games. I've won all six, but 250 is ridiculous. It is. I hope or wished they would have made it slightly easier. If this was 400 games and this was 200, it would have been a whole different game. I know it doesn't sound like a lot. But it saved you so much time they did it crazy and this is where we've been getting our double xp tokens yes this is it look every dom game gives you xp well not every but you win one you get one you use it you win a couple more you get five you are well when you get five wings you get another 30 minutes then another 30 at 10 then another 30 here and it's been clockwork so when you do use your double xp tokens remember my method man the method works every time what you do is you throw it on you go into the game quick once the game ends you should have time to load out try not to foul try not to make the game take too long you should be out within 25 minutes to 30 minutes between that frame so if you get out with four minutes left three minutes left two minutes left one minute even five seconds left i've gotten out of a game with 20 seconds left two seconds left whatever the case is you start up another one, your double XP still counts as long as the game started with the timer still on the screen. So you get two games in the 30 minute span. So you'll level up way quicker. You're not wasting your tokens. You're utilizing them. That's the only time I play Dom now whenever I have a double XP token. That works for all of them. That works for every double XP token in the game. So if I use a 60 minute, I play my first game, I play my second game. Now when I load out, I should have like seven minutes, eight minutes, whatever the case is, five, two, whatever. I get into my third game. So I play three games in the hour. Same thing with this one. If you don't wanna play Dom the whole time, play something else, it doesn't matter. But the last minute, two, whatever it is, enter a Dom game, it's gonna pay off. It's the best mode for double XP. You get about 70% around there. That's a great amount of XP to be made, man. You're pretty much leveling up off one game more or less. So there's no reason to play anything else. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys everything we got more or less from here before we get into some Paolo gameplay. We'll be showing him off in the park a little bit where we've been playing. I'll go ahead and take my 5K MT. Thank you guys so much. And let me give you guys an update on the rep grinds. The rep grinds, we're almost to diamonds. We're so close. I think I'll hit it tomorrow. I think I'll hit it tomorrow, not today. It takes a little bit of time, but we'll be there in no time at all. Also, we see some stuff in my auction house. Honestly, it's nothing serious. It's literally random gold cards, emerald cards, little things of that nature. I'm just trying to clear my queue a little bit. I think we need to clear it in all different ways. Like I need to quick sell all these. They didn't sell, so I'm not even gonna think about it. I wish we could quick sell in here. I really do. I'll show y'all that Trevor Ariza we just got. But look, some things have been pending. Look, some gold players sold for a thousand or whatnot. So that means I should throw up some more. We sold a couple of badges, nothing crazy. And I'm trying to make my MT back. We need to make it back. I still have so many badges we need to sell. But let's continue the video. So I guess we can go ahead and start with the Poetry in Motion Deluxe Packs we were getting from the challenges. This is where I started my grind. This is what I was doing to start off this season. I still had all my money. They could have gave me Paolo in here. They could have gave me KD. But instead, we're about to see who we got. I just really like doing my challenges, even though I know pack odds aren't that great or anything like that. We do have a locker code. I want you guys to all enter. It's not the same as mine. We all have different locker codes. If you didn't get it yet, it is on the NBA website or on the app. All you have to do is sign into your NBA ID and you go ahead and click your profile. You'll be able to find 
from their NBA benefits. You'll hit that and you'll get your own personalized locker code for a My Team Super Pack. Where's my super suit type vibes? I've heard of some people pulling some heat from there, so you never know. Obviously, I don't expect anything, but if it's a free locker code, we take it. We wish there was more locker codes in 2K. We start off with a gold melt. Hello, Milt. I don't even know who you is. No offense. We need to learn more players in NBA history, man. I like that 2K is adding more randoms, we'll call them, just so we can learn more and more. Jarvis Hayes. Hello, sir. And can I get a shaker from right here? I want a big time shaker. This is our only super pack that we've ever opened until we get that 10 box from Showdown and no shaker is tough. Bro, I thought it was the it is the sapphire. Danilo. I was like, bro, did I really pull a gold from that? That's tough. So honestly, we've been asking for unsellables to turn into exchange pieces. And thank you to 2K for making that. Honestly, till this point, it's legitimately better for me to quick sell all of them. I'd rather have the MT. I'm just putting it out there. We'll go ahead into our first ascension. Two picks for Buddy. So without the pass, the chance of me getting Buddy is slim to none. Literally going to be so hard. I already wasted picks. I don't know why I went that way. It was extremely dumb, but it doesn't matter. We're about to use our first two hour double XP and play some domination. After all that work, we hit level seven. Big seven, man. Big seven. That's work, work, work. We hit the five dom wins. We got a 30 minute token, all that. And we get some more ascension picks. I need to level up. We need to move on up. It's always middle, man. Why was that going anywhere else? That was really dumb. That was just a waste the picks we can't waste too much time on the earlier ones we need all the picks we can get in the top literally in the top so i don't know where to go i'm trying to count how many numbers is his jersey so 24 is there we get a badge pack which isn't what we're looking for we want the opposite corner got a foul honestly buddy i want you but it's not looking that likely i feel like i should show y'all these deluxe packs more or less so we could talk about badges this way in the no money spent type vibes nothing good right here i like break starter in general not an expensive badge though not one that you'll make some money off of we need the money badges i need the money badges challenger gold is nice silver glove is not bad either but that challenger gold is up there in general it's usually a pretty solid good badge one of the best badges in the game overall so we'll take those here. We get set shot specialist. Let's get it. another really good badge. Might not be expensive at times, but overall it will have value at some point always. Here we get challenger silver. Not going to say no to that ever. And diamond bronze is for me. I love my diamond bronzes. I will never not use it on my players. All my players that don't have diamond get diamond bronze 24-7. They always need it. I love Dimer. And here we get a movable enforcer, which is good. Mini marksman, not too bad. I went through it fast. My fault, my fault. And let's see if we get anything good from the 84 plus option pack. I just need a card I don't have. And we do. We get a power surge. Brand new. Do not own. I will always take a card we do not own. Thank you for that. Now, just so you guys see how I handle my badges, what do I do? I literally check prices like this. I search in here. So I see what I have, how much it's going for. And if I see it going for a lot, I will go ahead and throw it up if I feel like it. Otherwise, especially if I have a lot of them, especially if I have a lot. Otherwise, we hold on, we save and do later. Look at this. This is a snipe right here. Thank you so much. That card should never be that cheap. And honestly, I'm going to take that 4K one too. You know why I do this? I've explained this in the past. So what happens is this is the cheapest one. That means this is going to be sold next. And people are going to undercut. People are going to sell for less. All that. I just took it off. So now the next cheapest is this 5.6. So basically what we do is we sell the two that we have, right? That we have. That diamond is calling my name right here. But I'm not taking that, obviously. No, do not take it, most. You saw that on Ball Menace. You saw it. On Ball Menace is expensive. That immovable enforcer expensive. On Ball keeps value, though always on ball is the right choice but basically what i do is i sell the two challengers i have for a decent price now that i took the other two off and now i replace those two that i sold with the two that i sniped 
So basically, I just made a little bit extra MT without losing any badges. And really, this isn't even that hard of a decision. It's always on ball menace. You see an on ball menace that is clamps on current gen. You take that badge with your eyes closed. From there, you guys saw me spending my MT buying players for King of the Court. I also uploaded the video of me getting top 1%. Our last no money spent was me opening the pack. But the video after I showed the gameplay of all the games that I played that obviously helped us level up up a bit right just a little bit we got another token we got some other stuff coming through like ascension picks and whatnot all i know is if we don't heat up and move up soon that buddy is bye 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 like we might as well say bye and thank you 2k we take those now with 81 picks on the board and we're not gonna have anywhere close to that amount i genuinely was confused what to do i counted to 24 for his number i usually do that and then we just started moving. I took three because that's technically 94 his overall. And then I don't know what happened after that, man. I generally just started picking randomly. We were like, let's just skip around type beat. Hopefully we get some heat. We need buddy. I just realized I never showed my other poetry in motion pulls. And rightfully so, they kind of sucked. They really did suck. So let me just show you guys those real quick. Just in case anyone was curious what we pulled. We pulled this man right here, Mr. Daniels. Followed by an Emerald Foil. Hi, Mr. Foil. We went ahead and evoed Mr. Jamal Murray in the challenges while I was getting those poetry in motion ocean packs we drop 50 in the game we have to drop 54 with him let's continue going for mr buddy hills this is gonna be a like a trip man this is gonna be a trip let me know if you guys got buddy how is he if you got him and i'm just gonna tell y'all how it is i'm 99 sure i'm not getting that i will love those badges though man picking badges silvers bronzes golds i will take those all day man keep giving me that give me badge award packs we'll take those too anything with badges we don't say no we actually have a lot of these option packs it's actually wild i'm ready i'm ready we get some of them from leveling up some of them are more than others we also got the regular ones i always open the regulars first just in case because that way at least i know where we're heading tight vibes this was not bad i mean it was pretty bad but we got an interceptor bronze can't say no to that sometimes but usually a lot of players do have interceptor so bronze one's not that important overall we'll take it though ew hook specialist don't like I guess we'll just show you guys everything now. This is pretty much the final stretch before Paulo appears. Paulo makes his debut. No badges from these are bad. I always look for badges. Quick sell everything else. None of this matters. Thank you, 2K. I appreciate the money. I need your money. Please give me some heat right here. 87 plus. Another new player would be nice. I would like. And nope, we get a bunch of rubies. We have. We know how this works. Ja Morant. I'll never say no to a Ja, Ja, Ja. And it sucks I had to sell him but his mt feels better i don't know it just does pick five bronzes let's go heat up 2k this is from leveling up is great i already see on ball menace no thought process there i told you guys we'll take the limitless as well limitless might not be it right now but it will later set shot is also an easy one easy decision there honestly mini marksman looks like a good choice i'm just gonna look one more time to make sure but yeah mini looks good and from there you can't go like if you don't have that many choices left it is what it is we might take that rebound chaser that brick wall whatever the case is that if you don't have really good badges just take what you think a lot of people be needing be wanting all that here we got interceptor off the rip i seen it we got two interceptors nice nothing crazy no on ball menaces type vibes but obviously we're taking interceptor there's no question there it's only a one pick actually that's where i was confused that's what it was honestly strong handle or interceptor i took strong handle probably should have taken interceptor but i was like i have these two are pick fives no another pick one. Oh, so this is the ones oh man that's tough so look challenger or on ball great decisions those are the two best that we have to make a decision before honestly challenger might have been the move here just because on ball usually the bronze and golds are expensive so silver might not be that crazy but i just feel like on ball is always the right choice it just is if you see that clamps is it made up for the not taking interceptor there we're gonna take that dimer as well especially when i don't have it immovable enforcer that's always the vibe i don't know why i took strong handle like i said that was a really bad decision on my part it just happens sometimes sometimes you're going fast sometimes you're not paying attention sometimes it is what it is and we ended up with an interceptor anyway that worked out it is what it is 
I just could have had another one at least or whatever on the process all that can we get a please a good badge right here as well keep giving me more badges i love having badges and we don't get one there now we've been grinding 25 parkways we got a 90 plus overall premium pack so we're about to open that bad boy what premium means for anyone ever wondering what does premium means it means you're not allowed to get a series one player from there you're gonna get a gem card at least or one card from earlier sets type vibes it just won't be one of those other ones so it's cool it's cool at least you're guaranteed a non-series one player from something can i get some hate can i get a really nice card honestly these gems of the games have an exchange right there is an exchange for gems of the games 10 of these amis you can exchange they could be on sellables and you get a diamond hidden gem so i've been thinking about it i could theoretically throw in ruby gems of the game for ami gems of the game and go through this whole long process i don't know if it's worth it as we get one right there so i could technically chuck this for a hidden gem i don't know if it's worth it but maybe we look into it in the future we are big level 25 bro we were just out here hustling that's all it was we get our first 90 plus overall player option pack i will just say i was excited for that obviously it's not anything guaranteed it could be all series ones but sometimes you can get some cool stuff from there. We're pretty much in the final stretch with picks. We need to get some plus picks. Plus twos, plus threes. I didn't mean to go there. I accidentally clicked there. I was not aiming for that slot. Not that it would have mattered at all. We do get a plus two there, which is beautiful. I really wish 2K would add where it shows you where the grand prize is at the end. Like if I don't get it, it should show me where it was. It should flip everything and I could be able to like look at them so I know what I missed out on. I wish they did that. Like obviously not at the end of this, but like when I'm out of picks completely, when it's all said and done, they could just flip stuff over so we know what we missed or at least the grand prize we got a bronze badge option pack we know it's one pick but still better than nothing out here in these streets let's see if we get anything good no menace we do see a challenger though it looks like challenger is gonna be our choice there just gotta double check dead eyes okay gloves okay but challenger seems like the right choice i don't always know the prices of badges they fluctuate a lot they change a lot but you gotta figure them out eventually you gotta just have an idea of what's happening we'll go ahead and open this instead of those regular bases i'm not even gonna show y'all those those don't matter and we get an albert king big stealth mode i could exchange this towards a big diamond hidden gem i need 10 of them though but this is a start first of many hopefully i guess i should show these if i get badges aerial wizard the deluxe one no badge rj barrett yikes and now let's get into our first gameplay baby palo on the break boom his defense is something special ladies and gentlemen oh yeah right all cue give me that interceptor give me that hey now it's literally the fact that i can control him and do whatever i want with him look at this give me that it doesn't matter if i'm playing twos threes fours whatever i'm doing if i'm controlling apollo it's over in these streets without even seeing gameplay just looking at his box scores you could tell he's a dog my favorite part about him is he just be ready man he be ready it don't matter what it is it don't matter who i'm playing against it could be lebron james pink diamond Bron. he still tells him to get out we literally were locking up pink diamond Bron. look at this complete lockdown made him pass it out and then we covered everything where we get a shot clock violation we did that on one ends we come to the other lebron dares us to shoot and we're gonna obviously make him pay paulo's a dog straight clamps had clamps 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 everyone don't know where to go they don't know what to do and he knows what to do shout out to big p man big p yes sir big p yes sir good pass he even got that gold dimer so it pays off we leveled up some more so i guess we show y'all this man this is pretty much this i keep saying that this is pretty much it if i don't see him soon well, obviously, if we don't see him soon, we don't see him ever. But we're trying. We're trying. I'm out here grinding, man. We are trying. I'm not going to show y'all the badge packs anymore. It don't even matter. You guys see the gist of it. You get what I'm trying to do, what I'm trying to get out. Give me badges over 500 MT, over 250 MTs, over 1,000 MT. All badges go for some money, especially if they're option packs or deluxes. Think about it. If a badge goes for even 250, that's better than this. Let's continue the big P gameplay, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah. Dimer. 
Big Dahmer. I started playing the big man in our games and the bigs weren't coming out. The best part was I was able to lock them down too. And it was just fun being wide open because I don't miss, baby. I'm obviously lying to you guys. We were missing from time to time. We weren't guaranteed. Come over, baby. Oh, grab that out thin air. But it felt special that I was going up against Kevin Durant and these guys and horsing them and doing whatever I kind of pleased. I never had so much fun playing with the card, bro. He has nine rebounds. GG's man nine rebounds I love it when he gets it I already knew clinic was on so I knew that was money getting seven points nine rebounds in a co-op game is fun I went ahead and bit sniped the Trevor Ariza you guys probably saw that earlier and were wondering what that Ariza was I was able to get it for 21,700 we're literally debating if I do end up locking in any sets out here in these streets which ones I'd lock in and stuff like that I'll update you guys if I ever do obviously there is honestly very little this card could do just watch watch man he grabs boards over everybody anybody it do not matter not to mention the defense we stop cat at the rim he doesn't go up again he don't want that smoke look look we box out my board i should have pushed it up myself i like pushing it up sometimes but it's cool i give it to my pg so that way i can move around get open find myself and they don't always need me type vibes but regardless i stay ready if i'm needed to score if i'm needed to defend if i'm needed to shoot whatever the case is i'll make sure i make it happen type at the end he's a swiss army knife man that's what he is he is just everywhere i genuinely can't emphasize it enough this is the best card i've played with this year by far it's not even close he was worth every penny at the end of the day every single penny and i don't know if i keep him forever but bro he's so different my boy paulo different i should have grabbed that my boy paulo different he different give me that i want i love the defense uh, the defense just changes ball games look he pushes he's a great dribbler he creates oh man get off my court you guys don't understand how excited i am come on bron pink diamond bron can't even go up on me y'all not excited about how i am to go to showdown that was a bad pass my fault my fault I, I turned the ball over i was doing too much there i'll make up for it no worries i will are oh, we lagging hard i'm not shooting that i'm too laggy right now sometimes it'd be laggy but it's all good i trust my teammates even if they miss i trust myself out here in these streets i got this yo bron bron where you going bron bron you gotta see paulo there don't go up on paulo please guys guys he's not even fully badged i might badge him more i might do it man i should i have to just think about everything he does he does it all he does it all and this game on a flashy hey now shout out to the brodies we were playing with man mass son you guys are dogs i appreciate you guys carrying tight vibes i also appreciate you guys letting me run paulo because my man riley's got him too so it means a lot that you let me rock him that way we could put up some highlights out here in these streets some game winners once we got used to brody he wouldn't miss three from three for three that was extremely hard to say but we got to 70 wins basically rocking this man gems of the game option pack coming real soon these pick five takeovers are kind of clutch so i'm pretty sure i got these from domination these are nice man these are nice so many good choices i'm probably not taking that i don't know why i put it there we got to take that bucket i did not even see that i think while i was editing that oh no i did see it okay cool cool i'm glad i saw it i'm like watching this back with you guys and i'm glad i noticed it and then i took this unit yes i wanted that defensive stopper type vibes and it was nice to get another one uh, we have to learn all these takeovers they've been great they've been great now that they updated takeovers and we're getting them for sure but yeah that was big p our most expensive purchase out here in these streets i wish his stats were counting in the park for some reason they don't count towards his stats i didn't even notice that i always thought park stats counted so we're gonna play a bunch of games and they're never gonna count towards his stats which really suck why is that a thing uh, let me know if you guys think I should sell this card eventually. Should I keep enjoying him for the time being? What is the vibe? Probably not going to give him handles for days. I'll save that for somebody else. But if I get some of these defensive badges, like Paint Patroller, Immovable Enforcer, it's on site. I'm just going to say it as is, man. It's on site. I'm giving him whatever he wants, whatever he needs, whatever it takes. I need a slippery off-ball gold. I might go buy that. But, yo, this card is him. <laughs> He really am, bro. Thank you for being my friend. I appreciate you. I'll see you guys later. I'm actually having fun ever since I bought this card. I'm just going to say it as is. I've been having fun. See you guys soon. It's been your boy Mo. Y'all know the drill. And balling out.